Hey guys, it is me, Hypersorry Ken. Welcome to Last and Earth Survival. So we've got a new update, the drone update, the transport hub location update. So we are trying to build this drone and docking station. Plus, we've also gotten this drone upgrade workbench. I think it's in the game. I'm pretty certain it's in the game. So today, we're going to try to assemble at least this drone docking station. All we need is just to get some more of these flight controllers and we can get some of these controllers inside of the... A laboratory so that's where we're gonna go I already have gotten here some of the weapons so let's go there I'm not really certain if we can get those things from the hard mode laboratory or from the normal mode laboratory I think we're about to figure that stuff out and yet yeah, later on we're gonna unlock that transport hub location and we're gonna clear that transport hub but before we're gonna do this welcome welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream and if you're watching this live stream after it's over then head to the pin comments down below there are gonna be timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream like us clearing that transport hub if we unlock it because I'm pretty sure we're gonna unlock it and yeah, when we assemble these workbenches and a bunch of other things. So welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined. And if you're watching it live, welcome, welcome. If you're watching this after it's over, let me know that in the comments down below. And now, for those who still haven't seen it, there we go. This is my favorite part probably about this entire update. We have a bunch of guns here and we can just assemble them by clicking one button. And that's it. Let's also click through these things just so that we get rid of those other things there we go ladies and gentlemen we have modded all of our weapons and that is absolutely amazing welcome welcome uh, i was just watching the last live stream hope you stream today we are absolutely going to stream today so welcome 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 ladies and gentlemen now the first question goes to you can we get those controller hubs from the normal mode laboratory or do i have to go to the hard mode laboratory that's the question uh do you need in hard mode or an easy mode if I kill the bosses on normal mode, will I get anything there? I really need to go there on hard mode. Oh, they say normal mode. I think we can do this in normal mode. Okay, we will figure it out. I just need to get some more space. So how about we drop one of these weapons? They say both, a normal and in hard mode. Okay, so we can do this in both. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get nine of these seaweeds. I'm going to bring that seaweed to the laboratory just so that we can fire up that bioreactor. And then we will a2 boss okay so does that necrotic hybrid give you anything or it's pointless to fight that necrotic hybrid still there we go let's open that thing and let's get that all they don't give any more in hard what do you mean they don't give any more they don't give more or they give the same amount or they don't give at all i don't understand what you're trying to say there a2 boss. Only A2 and B2. Okay, so only the last two bosses give those stuff. Okay, we'll see if we'll clear the entire laboratory. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I have no idea. We will absolutely check it out. Icebreaker doesn't give you anything. Okay, so fighting the icebreaker is kind of pointless. Understandable. Have a nice day. Yo, Combat Engineer, welcome to the stream. Hello, happy guy. Welcome to all those that have just joined. I'm glad to see all of you here. Welcome, 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 lab ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to call you Laboratory because somebody mentioned Laboratory in the chat. But yeah, welcome, Laboratory people. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And uh, do we have seaweed here? Nope, I don't have seaweed here either. Which is kind of silly willy. We should have seaweed somewhere. Maybe in the boat, perhaps. And Matthew Spellman, thanks for being a member for 19 months. Thanks, man. Should I leave my 52 level? I would in which I have a TV transistor, but there is no bot and we can't call Raider on radio. Thank you, Matthew Spellman, for this epic comment. And maybe people in the chat can help you out to figure out that mystery. But hey, <laughs> thank you, man, for being here. Welcome, welcome. And Linus uh, McCowan, thanks for the super chat. Welcome. Okay, let's now hop into the port location. Let's try to fight at least one boss there. I want to see what kind of things we get there. And then maybe we'll hop to the base and we'll finish those controllers and other thing. And other things and we'll see. Yes, we're all researchers and scientists as the Minecrafter. Yes, indeed. Well, I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. Aren't we all scientists? All right. I want to see if this bioreactor is at least somewhat full okay so we already have two of these cells so that's more than enough at least for now let's go now to the second floor we're not activating any hard modes we're gonna try to do this on normal mode sector b boss too much resources required a lot of them require lots of resources i need here lots of guns to assemble that drone i just hope that drone is at least good 
because if it's not, then it seems like a lot of work. And also, can somebody explain to me? I haven't really like spent lots of time thinking or researching or anything because I knew that I'm gonna live stream. You guys will be able to answer those questions, and it's a lot more interesting that way. So I've seen uh, multiple people saying that in order to get that drone, you have to have your ATV. Why? I didn't bother researching what kind of resources we need and whatever. So I'm just asking guys you the questions. Why do we need to have the ATV to get the drones? What kind of resources do we need? For the drones. Do we need the new rules perk? Uh, not really. I want the... I don't remember what that perk's called. Yo, Mia, thank you for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, sorry. New location. Let's go. Yes, indeed. We're definitely gonna go there. Thank you for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. And as soon as we are done with the laboratory, I'm absolutely going there. You need the swamp watchtower. Why do you need the swamp watchtower? You gotta calibrate towers. Oh. Oh. Need ATV to revisit the swamp tower. Okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the information because I was like, it doesn't really look like we need any resources from the swamp. So I was kind of confused. Please tell me this dude is not gonna spit on me. Okay. It did spit on me. I did lose a little bit of armor. But that is okay. So you need all the towers. Okay, ladies and gents. Thanks for the information. Thank you. The more we know. So you have to have your ATV, which is kind of broken-ish. Really, ATV for the drone. At the same time, my mixed I have mixed feelings about this because ATV is kind of useless as of right now anyway. So it's nice to see some new things added for that ATV as more people will enjoy their ATV. But on the same... But it also feels like it's pretty hard to get that ATV and then unlock drones. Like, that is kind of ridiculous. So it's like a good and a bad thing at the same time. Probably more of a bad thing than a good thing, but... Well, it is what it is. I'm just here to get the things. Okay, let's deal with this acid melter. No, my goodness. I got spat on twice. Unbelievable. It's weird that you have ATV because you get ATV transmissions in the transport hub. I think we they are bamboozling you. No, it is probably true. It makes no sense. Why would they give you... Wait, you need to unlock the transport hub. To unlock the transport hub, do you need the ATV? Or you can go to the transport hub without the ATV. Because if you need the ATV for the transport hub... It kind of doesn't make sense, as the transport hub gives you a TV transmissions. I think you need only to recalibrate the towers for the recalibrate the towers for the drones. Okay, so you only need that stuff to unlock the drones. Then, to unlock transport hub, you only need a drone. The drone you can make without the ATV. Okay, so I still don't know why do we need the ATV, but okay, I get it. I get it. So some of the content is accessible without the ATV, which is kind of cool. Understandable. Okay, something have, has happened. Check this out, guys. Now when we do 5 damage, and sometimes when we do 10 damage, now that thing is orange. When we do crit shots, they're orange. Before, they were just bigger yellow. Now, they're kind of orangish. So... Yes, another change. Let's get some more of these A cards and let's see what else I can get. And I think we've got an... Where is it? Do we have that laboratory event? There we go. Port laboratory. Uh, damage done by the equalizer is increased by 25%. And here we have a chance of getting carbon composites and factory parts. That's why I have gotten some factory parts from this guy and some carbon composites from this dude. Understandable. Sneaking damage is orange. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's deal with that acid melter. So yeah, as I said, I don't really know if I'll clear the full laboratory. Maybe I'll just clear one boss. I just want to see if anything else is different. Okay, so here we can also find now robber hoses, which are probably important. Just remind me to come back here and get them. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm absolutely stuck, ladies and gentlemen. Well... It is what it is. What about my armor? Does it still have any durability? Okay, it still has a little bit of durability. That's good. Uh, nothing here. Uh, 
It all makes sense. They made the ATV easier to obtain over the last several months. I don't think they made the ATV easier to obtain as it's the same thing. But now with the transport hub, maybe it's easier to obtain it as you can get ATV transmissions. So that's cool, I guess. I mean, they made maybe Bunker Bravo a little bit easier as from season passes and probably from other things you can get anti-red pills. Maybe from some events you can also get anti-red pills. So maybe there's that. I don't know. Perhaps. Very happy they made robber hoses accessible. Yes, because robber hoses were definitely a huge bottleneck. As you had to progress in the settlement in order to get these robber hoses. And if you don't progress in the settlement, you wouldn't be able to progress. So now when we get uh, robber hoses here, we can actually build things without progressing in those expeditions. As I said, for those who don't know, before you would have to progress in expeditions to get those robber hoses. And were you getting robber hoses daily from expeditions as well? Maybe there were also daily rewards, but I'm not really sure about it. And Mia, thank you for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the stream. The damage of guns decreased in bunkers. Uh, really? I don't know if that's true or not. Another change that comes is they decrease the damage of guns. Okay, so I already see... Can somebody else confirm that? Because I see some people talking about decreased damage of guns. Is that sure or not? Or is that just fake? And Mia, thank you for once again becoming a member. Uh, I get spat on again. Oh, two hoses in daily. Do I even get them? Or do you get those two hoses at the very, at the very beginning? Well, in any case, it's nice to get them here in the laboratory. Still, I wouldn't say the laboratory is very... Very worth it. But it is something. Enemy defense is just higher. Yeah, I mean, that probably makes sense. But is that true that they have changed something to enemy defense? And in bunkers, you mean like bunker alpha or just bunker bravo? Did they make bunker alpha harder? Wouldn't be surprised. Because Bunker Alpha is the only good place in this game, and so far they haven't ruined it yet, so maybe they'll make it harder. They gotta ruin it, right? They gotta ruin everything. Bunker Alpha, so they made enemies in Bunker Alpha stronger. Kinda lame if you ask me. It's kinda horrible. But it is what it is, right? Wouldn't be surprised. Some people say yes, some people say no. So I don't even know if that's true. But we'll have to figure it out. Okay, so let's activate probably the new rules perk. Why not? Let's get that. Unfortunately, they made it harder. Okay, so they made it harder. I haven't gone to Bunker Alpha yet, so I can't really say anything. Okay, let's get that. The spit pattern looks huge now, too. The spit pattern from these guys has always been the same, I think. From those toxic spitters, whatever, it's always been kind of huge. Okay, got all of them. How about I open up the door because I think I made some more space. And I kind of want to go back to the first floor and get the rest of the items that I haven't picked up yet. We go alpha after this? Maybe. Some people say uh, are saying that it's still the same to me. So guys, question goes to you. For those that have cleared Bunker Alpha after this new update, is it harder? Do you do less damage to those zombies or do you do still the same amount of damage? And if you do less damage, do you do less damage with only guns or with melee weapons? Because if you do less damage with guns, like it's not obviously good, but at the same time, it's not really that big of a deal as... You shouldn't waste guns on Bunker Alpha probably anyways. They say both. Some people are saying it's the same. I haven't noticed anything different. Okay, so maybe if they if they change something, maybe it's a bug or maybe they haven't changed anything. It's not harder. We do the same damage as before. No changes. Okay, so maybe some people are just bamboozling. Melee is the same. So yeah. 
No, the only thing that changed is they nerfed the Skull Crusher range. Okay. I realized that not only we can get those hoses in Laboratory and Transport Hub, but they kind of increase number of spark plugs. Those wires from Crooked Creek Farm and even as best as you can get in those places, maybe. Okay, so maybe they haven't done anything to that bunker alpha. Maybe some people are just imagining. Okay, so let's forget it. It's probably not true. The damage decreased for about about 40% or more. Okay, that's not true then. Okay, you're just imagining, mate. Maybe you activated hard mode by accident. You guys say I forget everything what I said about Bunker Alpha just now. It looks like some people just try to bamboozle me or they activated hard mode without realizing it, so don't worry about it. Bunker Alpha is still the same. Okay, let's deal here with the Screamer. And the Toxic Spewer. There we go, we got all of them. We probably need to get here a new armor, so I might as well just equip it. I will get this thing. There we go. This will make some more space as well. Before I'd get uh, only one spark plug, and now I get two. And those wires, I've got five tops, nothing, and now I just found six pieces. Okay, so I have gotten two spark plugs and six wires, maybe even seven wires in the past at the farm, so I don't think we're getting more of them. Maybe they have increased the chance of getting us like two spark plugs at the highway, but I have gotten two spark plugs last time without the update, so it is it was possible to get two spark plugs before. Okay, let's get that. And we are very close to the boss number one. I didn't notice any changes from two hours ago in Alpha Run, same drops and same damage. Okay, so yeah guys, just some dude is spreading misinformation apparently. As I haven't seen anyone else confirming that, only one person kept saying it, so. Bunch of lies. Yikes. You don't lose your items in Transport Hub, it's like an alpha farm, etc. Your body does not disappear. Okay, that's good. I mean, that's what I expected that, but that's good to know. I try to stay away from spoilers, obviously, from that location, from that Transport Hub, but I already know that there is a minor boss. So, there's that. Am I excited to go and deal with that minor boss? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see how all that works out. Okay, there we go. Let's get that and let's fight with the boss right now. Ooh. Uh, what are we gonna get? A scar? Do we deal with this boss with a scar? I mean, we also have some AKs. This is just a normal boss, a normal mode boss. It's not thing too hard. Should be pretty easy. All right, come here. We're gonna wait for this dude to wake up. Oh wow, that's not good. I didn't mean to get that electric damage. Okay, we gotta heal up a little bit. Let's get here another gun. I'm like, I'm gonna, I might actually die here right now. So yeah, getting that electricity debuff is pretty bad. As then he does like 68 damage so they can kill me. So that dude can kill me with two attacks. And if I get stunned, 
That's bad. Okay, so we've got here a flight controller. Only one. Alright, so that is a lot of guns. To get that one flight controller. Hmm. And you need ten of them, kinda. Okay, I can't activate this anyway, since we need another bioreactor. So, it would take us quite a while to do it. Right, we need 10 flight controllers in total. So we'd have to clear this full laboratory at least five times, right? If we get two of those controllers per run. But plus we can probably do hard mode so we can get four controllers. But that would require an, an insane amount of guns. All right. Okay, so we need to add something else. Maybe we will clear the full laboratory. I've already gotten these guns. And it's pretty fast to clear this laboratory with weapons. So we might as well just do it. We already kind of have all of the necessary resources for that flight controller and other things to unlock the port thing. But... Yeah, I kind of want to see if they've changed anything here in the laboratory. Okay, let's get that. Let's add... This stuff. Maybe we'll need to go outside... To auto clear the whatever the place is called. The dead island. No, it's not dead island that we can auto clear. Where's the It's probably in the resources. There we go, let's get some seeds. Sadly I can only get two stacks, so we need to make more space in our inventory. There we go, let's get that. Mm, let's go here and let's add a little more seeds. For the third level or something, we'll get more seeds. Now let's just go for it. Delete armor. We should. Oh, we should have definitely deleted that armor. Would have been a lot better. Thanks for the info. Thank you. Okay, we can get thorns probably, and after that we will get another buff. There we go, let's go for it. Yes, we should have definitely deleted that armor. Let's delete that. It's still, what's the weirdest thing, for me at least, is that they easily could have released just Bunker Charlie, right? If they haven't released it, that means they want Bunker Charlie to come out one day. I guess, because they have released that transport hub. They could have made anything the transport hub. You know, we have the transport hub kind of thing in the laboratory here already. We have that trolley or whatever. They just could have released this thing and then we could go on the trolley and we could go to that transport hub, right? So we could have just gotten that. It would have been the same thing. They didn't necessarily have to add a new location. So I don't really know why they did that when we still don't have the... The trolley in the game, so it is kind of interesting. It is kind of weird that Transport hub could have been bunker Charlie It would have been the same thing So it is very interesting why they decided to add a new location when we still don't have bunker Charlie as they could have just named that transport Hub as bunker Charlie it would have been the same So that is interesting Maybe they're keeping bunker Charlie for something big I don't know, but they don't really mention it at all. So, I don't know. It is interesting. To say the least, there we go, let's get some more hoses. Transport hub is good for free to play players, as they can make ATV easier. Okay. Oh, you can't use both agility and thorns. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. I know, but yeah, I just wanted to get a different perk. I wanted to get the pass perk, but I didn't find it, so I just chose whatever other random one. As on the normal mode, I only need, like, three perks. I need the agility perk, I need the pass perk, and I need the new rules perk. The fourth perk is kind of... The fourth perk is kind of... useless, anyways. It's just there to tease us, probably. But yeah, the agility perk and the... Thorn perk don't really match together as with the Thorn perk they get 20 damage But they get only 20 damage when they hit you, but with the agility perk they can't hit you so it doesn't make much sense 
Didn't mean to open up that door. That is my bad. There we go. There's the room. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's deal with that toxic spewer. Every move they make will be settlement centric from now on. It's kind of hard to say probably. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, as I said, it still could have been Bunker Charlie. They still could have added that transport hub, right? It could have just been in the laboratory down there. The trolley thing. Could have been the same thing. As I said many times already, they didn't have to add the laboratory. The laboratory could have been also Bunker Charlie, right? Like, you might as well be clearing Bunker Charlie here right now. It's just named laboratory. I think you follow me. You understand what I'm trying to say here. Or when some people want to... Uh, some people ask sometimes, like, Oh, will we ever get Floor 5 in Bunker Alpha? Like, also, Laboratory could have been Floor 5 in, in Bunker Alpha. It looks like Bunker Alpha, right? We are underground. It could have been the same thing. So it is... Interesting to see them add new things when... They have already laid the foundation for the things to be added to the game. I kind of don't understand how that works. But it is... Juggernaut. Okay, so over here we could fight that... Whatever the dude's name is. The Popsicle guy. But yeah, that Popsicle dude doesn't give us anything valuable now anyways. He gives those... Gas cylinders for the ATV. But he doesn't give any flight controllers. So we're not gonna fight him. Oh, and another thing that I wanted to talk about. We're going to talk about that a bit more. But what do you think, guys, about the current expeditions? They made them harder, right? Did they make them harder or easier? Because I wasn't really the biggest fan of expeditions anyways. Some people say that there's a lot of strategy involved. Like, I mean, I have a few things to say about it. It is a little bit confusing. Like, I have played strategy games in the past. And I like some of the strategy games, but here it doesn't really feel like there's any strategy involved. You just like kind of spam the buttons. There's a lot of RNG involved with that strategy, so I have no idea, kind of. The harder, definitely. Okay, so a lot of people are saying harder. Okay. And Machine Saucer 54, thank you for uh, becoming a member. Thank you for being a member. Welcome to the stream. I love the new badges. I actually am going to redesign those member badges one day. I added some new badges, but I will kind of redesign them completely. I just didn't have enough time, so I just added some new colors, and that's it. But I think I'll make them from I'll make them from scratch. I'll make them cooler, maybe, one day. We'll see. So yeah, the a lot of you are saying that they made it harder, so I don't really know if I like it. I mean, it's not like that I like it. I don't like it. It's goop. Like, no matter how harder they make it, it's still gonna suck, right? It's still a weird game mode. It still feels very cheap. So no matter how harder they make it, it's not like it'll be skill-dependent or anything. You still need to have a bunch of different mercenaries to even use any skills. Your own skills. Like, there are, like, different puddles. This puddle gives 5% damage every 3 seconds. Like, okay. So what kind of a mercenary am I supposed to put there? Do I put a higher health mercenary? I will lose more health. Or a lower, a lower health mercenary. I don't know. It's just... It's weird. It is weird indeed. Expeditions couldn't be possibly harder. Well, they made them harder. In any case, like, you just need to now have lots of gear score. Like, in those expeditions, it says recommended gear score 5,000. So you have to have 5,000 gear score. And if you have the recommended gear score expedition level thing, you'll be able to beat it. So, they made expeditions harder so that you spend even more money on those expeditions, which... I... Don't really like that. In any case... Uh, we go to the resources and we need to go... To these seeds. 
But again, am I surprised? I'm not surprised. Those expeditions have been... Kind of like that since day one. Please tell me I ha I'll have enough things. Oh, uh, I don't. We need to go outside and auto clear something real quick because I don't have enough things. Sadly, I can't use these energy cells to power that stuff up. That's just silly. And I don't think I have anything else in the resources. Yeah, I don't have anything else here. And we need more weapon contracts. Why don't you open uh, mercenary contracts? But we'll open them up today. We don't have enough guns? Uh, maybe. I hardly did expeditions in the first place. Now I never want to. I mean, if you log in every single day to those expeditions and you collect daily loot, you can kind of get lots of those mercenary tags. Like, I think you can get, like, what, 9 or 10 mercenary tags a day as a free-to-play player. So if you get 10 of those mercenary tags a day, you can get 300 mercenary tags a month. And I don't even know how much those mercenary tags cost. 300 mercenary tags, how much is that? Oh, wow, so you can get, like, over, like, almost 100 bucks worth of mercenary things a month, which is kind of crazy. So you get $3 at least a day from daily rewards when you think about it. Either items in the shop are very expensive or the devs are kind of generous by the daily gifts that they give us. Because that's kind of a lot. Berries. Do I have enough berries? They say use your berries. You have 265 of them to use. Yes, but we also need guns, don't we? So I'll probably have to go back to the base. Oh, maybe we can here upgrade the guns. Is there the laboratory? Is there the workbench? At the lab. So yeah, while I'm waiting for the answer, at least I'll do something. I'll go outside and I'll quickly auto-clear some things and then I'll go back. Okay, so there's the gunsmith bench at the lab. We have 265 mercenary contracts. Uh, we have probably 265 mercenary tags. Okay, that's probably more than enough for now. There we go. Let's get back. Don't say it out loud. Developers will nerf it. I don't even know what we are talking about. Thank you very much. How sweet is that? It's like, check your seaweed farm. Oh, yes, we should have checked that. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name, but hey, mate. Thank you for the information. I should have definitely done that. Let's drink a little bit of water. But yeah, we had lots of seaweed here at the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm growing some stuff here. Check this out. We had that stuff over here, but yeah, I didn't check it. What's the inhaler for? You can restore 50 health with that inhaler. So there's that. Let's go to the resources. Let's use uh, the seaweed. There we go. That's a lot better. And where's the workbench thing? I think it's over here. Isn't it, mate? Yes, indeed. It's over here. So let's go to the weapons. And it's about time we got them. We It's about time we used them. I used up actually most of them here already. From all the 30 something, almost 40 season passes. Rations wasted. It's fine. It is. Oh, wait, I forgot to upgrade those weapons. I'm an idiot. Somewhat of a donut. donut. There we go. Let's upgrade it. This. Dude, I love it. I'm glad that they've added this button. I'm seriously glad that they've added it. It is awesome. I've been asking for this button for a really long time. I'm not saying that they've added it because of me, because 
probably they didn't add it because of me. I'm like 99% sure that they didn't add it because of me, but I'm glad that they added it. Doesn't matter because of who they added it, but I'm glad that they've added that button and we can upgrade all of those weapons with just one click. I mean, it takes two clicks because you have to confirm it, but in any case, it's awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Oh, there's the B2 sector. Let's activate this thing. You're wasting scars, bro. Don't worry. No worries, mate. I didn't take your scars. But sorry, I don't have any. That's sad. But yeah, I didn't take your scars, mate. So no worries. Are you doing the hard mode as well? No, nah, no, nah, we're not clearing the hard mode because we're going to spend here an entire live stream in this hard mode laboratory. And in this laboratory. I just want to quickly clear it. I just wanted to see what... Uh, I wanted to see how we get these controllers and that's it. And I also wanted to see where we get those rubber hoses. So I want to clear this place quickly. Then we'll go back to the base and we will assemble that drone flight station. Whatever it's called. I've already forgotten. They listen to you but don't want to admit it. Nah. As I said, I don't think they should listen to me. And I don't think they did listen to me. So it doesn't matter. In any case, what I'm saying is that I'm very happy that they've added it. Like it was literally like a dream come true because it always takes a few minutes to upgrade all of those weapons, especially when we get ready for those 99 waves and we have to get a bunch of guns and then I have to modify every single gun one by one. Like that stuff would take forever. So I'm glad that it's a lot faster now. Yikes. Okay, let's deal with that acid melter. My armor is almost broken, so we'll probably have to get another armor from the inbox. Just as always. Okay, more rubber hoses. Understandable. I have no idea why I popped that re... That anti-rad, but I did. Oh no, the guy still reached me with that spit. Unbelievable. My armor is about to break. Okay. Three, four. How about I get a new armor? Um, Equipment. Let's get... Can I get a new scar armor? A new SWAT armor? There we go. Got the SWAT boots. I got the SWAT this and that. And where are the SWAT pants? And there we go. There are the SWAT pants. We have so many of these pipes that I don't even know what we'll do with them. But should I should I even take them with me? We already have like hundreds of that stuff. Like literally hundreds. I'm not even kidding. It's like I checked Bunker Alpha, they really made it hard. Okay. Maybe I'll check it out after this thing. We'll quickly hop to Bunker Alpha second floor and we'll see if they made it harder or not. But I don't remember the previous damages anyways. And I still, I don't trust you. I don't think they've made Bunker Alpha harder, but we'll can, we can check it out. The mods for Scar. Okay, I can show you the mods for Scar. These are the mods here. I don't think these are the best mods. I don't think these are the worst mods either, but those are the mods that I have and... They're all right. Maybe they're the best mods. I don't know. They're all right mods. Loader. Why have Scar without the active skill? Most of the active skills suck. Like, for example, we have here this active skill on the AK and it's stupid. And uh, I don't know what kind of active skill would go on the Scar. In any case, it's good enough Scar. 
that's all I can say. I think we have all of the mods in the game besides, as I said, that machete blueprint, but... Yeah, I think these are the most normal Scar mods. For stability and damage. You missed one room, did I? Did I miss one room? I don't think I missed anything. They're not gonna make Bunker Alpha harder. Well, you shouldn't say that, as you never know what they can do. get more first aid kits. Hopefully that is enough because I don't think I have more first aid kits in my inbox. So yeah, I'll have to spare them for the boss. Play Day R. There will be Day R soon. I've already recorded two episodes on Day R. I thought there'll be only one, but I liked it, so there will be two episodes on Day R. I've also played some 60 seconds of Atomized. That game was pretty fun as well. So expect those videos soon-ish. I don't know when, but there will be those videos coming out soon. Okay, let's deal with that exploder. Play last on Earth, Psyche. I'll consider. I'll consider it. Maybe one day we'll play some last day on Earth, but I can't promise that. As we never know. Didn't mean to activate this, but whatever. Let's activate the laser. Wow, I had only 20 health, could have died there, but we survived and that's good. Let's not dwell on what could have happened. We survived and that's what's good. Oh my god, I can't believe Psyche will play some last on Earth one day. I can't promise that, but... I'll try to play it one day. Is there anything you can promise? I mean, I don't really know what I can promise. I mean, when you think about it, you don't really know what'll happen. I can promise something for 99%, but we never know what's gonna happen. If I say, if I tell you guys that hey, tomorrow there will be a last and survival video, guys, I promise that. What if I get hit by a, a meteor or something? So I don't want to make, break my promise. That's it. What if I get kidnapped by aliens, right? You gotta be mindful of those things. Okay, let's break these guns and then we'll get these scars and we'll deal with this boss kind of quickly and then we'll open up some rooms in this uh, laboratory and then we can go to the base. If you get hit by a meteor, you'll get superpowers. Uh, that'd be cool. If I got superpowers, not the hit part. What did you think of Day R Survival? It's fun. It is really fun. It's surprisingly more fun than I expected. Okay, we just gotta deal here with this schmuck real quick. Okay, let's go a bit higher to see where those things are going to come out of. And there we go. We have dealt with the boss, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We have gotten only one more flight controller. Wish we could get more, but... Yeah, still, laboratory is a lot easier than Bunker Bravo. Like, at least it is doable if you 
want to assemble that table and get 10 of these controllers, at least it is doable. And that's what Last Night Survival is all about. Like, if you don't want to clear the same place multiple times, then Last Night Survival is absolutely not for you because that's what this game is all about. You got to clear the same location multiple times, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. If we're speaking about Bunker Alpha, we have to keep clearing that thing all the time, every two days. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just wanted to get to the secret room and that's it. That key card room. Do you know this war of mine? I think I've made a video on this war of mine. Maybe two videos? Maybe only one video. I don't remember. There might be more of this war of mine. I'll actually add it to the... To the notes to check it out again. Uh, this war uh, of mine. So there we go, I added this war of mine to the notes because I have played it before. Maybe I'll make another video on it. Can't promise anything. Let's get that. It's kind of sad in these special rooms we don't get more rubber hoses. I wish we got more of them. It's like, do you know Scorn? Yes, I... I'm aware of Scorn. I have seen some parts of Scorn. But I haven't played the game and I don't think we'll be playing it. But yeah. It is pretty nice. It's a pretty nice game from what I know. From what I've seen. Okay, let's get that. Let's open up another one of these rooms. Okay, still, let's get these pipes. I don't know why we need them. I wish we could do something with these pipes. Like, I don't even know. Smelled them into steel. Or smelled them into something. That'd be cool. Okay, so I think that's the last floor because I don't think we have to go through the fourth floor. But we kind of have to go through the third floor. It is kind of interesting. We have cleared the first and second floor a lot faster than the third and fourth floor. So the third and the fourth floor are a lot longer than the first and the second floor. Does that make any sense? Because we were able to clear the first and second floor in less than 16 minutes. And the third and fourth floor took us over 20 minutes. 25, maybe even. Maybe even like 30 minutes, actually. Maybe it even took us half an hour. So, yeah. Ridiculous. What do you think devs should make it more easier to get these controllers? I don't know what they should do with these controllers. I have no idea. I haven't even used these drones. From what I've seen from some people, is that these drones aren't that great anyways. I mean, for those who have seen drones, how would you rate those drones? Are they good or bad? From 0 to 10, what would you what would you rate these drones if you can even have those drones? I mean, you should be able to have them. They say 9. Drone is mid. Yeah, it's 3 out of 10, 6 out of 10. I mean, the point is, you also need to recharge these drones. Like, there are these rechargeable batteries, which, like, that's what I don't like the most. Like, I don't really know how it works properly, but there are these drone replacement batteries, which look absolutely silly, like doggo treats, except these are drone replacement batteries. That's already, like, stupid. But, yeah. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, why do I only have 47 of these keycard A's? Well, I have a few more keycards outside, so let's get that stuff. Let's maybe bring all of this loot back to the base. Let's open up that A crate, those A crates, and let's get ready for those uh, drone things. Because we can absolutely open that stuff up. Drones are 4 out of 10, but the transport hub is 9 out of 10. So you guys like the transport hub. Does the transport hu uh, hub give nice loot? Is the transport hub pretty cool? I am actually interested to check it out. 
Is it gonna be bun Loved for Alpha Dead Island 2 series. Hopefully they come out with the third a bit quicker. Love the vids. Keep up the great work. Thumbs up. Hey, Leo Bardo. Thanks for the support chat. I'm glad that you enjoyed Dead Island 2 videos. And uh, yeah, it took them how long? Nine years? Eight, nine years to release Dead Island 2? So yeah, 10 more years. In 2033, maybe we'll get Dead Island 3. But it would be cool. I'd like flip out if they had announced Dead Island 3. That'd be awesome. That would be absolutely awesome. Still, it would be cool if, if... If we did some more exploration in Dead Island too. As there's still a bunch of side quests to, uh, side quests to do, so we'll see. We will absolutely see. It's like, will you play Last Stand Aftermath again? <laughs> it's a it's an epic game. We have played it. Maybe, maybe I will add it to the to the notes again. But I have played it before. I don't know. Like I'd love to play it again. I just don't know if people will be interested in it again. Okay, so let's add some of these controllers here now to this drone docking station. We have already more controllers in the inbox, so we'll absolutely open that up. Awesome and David videos, Wiggle! Amigo, happy Kyrek. You are rocking it, Amigo. Amigo, David Wiggle, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here, Amigo. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time for the new transport hub. Where's the transport hub and that transportation hub? I, wanted, I really want to call it transportation hub. Every time I say transport hub, I want to say transportation hub. But it is what it is. All right, let's try to find some space here for these things. More robber hoses. All right, all I need to do is just quickly sort out this inventory. We need to bring a bunch of stuff. Okay, that thing comes with us. These thing come here. This thing goes over there. Let's drop some guns. And we are almost ready. Let's drop that over here. Oof, took us quite a while to sort out the inventory, but we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we absolutely did it. Let's now open up both of those crates, as I also want to see what kind of loot we can get inside of those crates. Do we get more robber hoses there? Do we get anything else? Or we get nothing. Do drone is way better than a dog with a true friend skill. And when you think about it, drone is probably easier to get than a true, uh, than a true friend dog. So that's cool. Triple question mark. Probably. Probably. So the drone is better than the old mercenaries. I don't know. I haven't used the drones yet. So I have no clue how good those drones ac uh, actually are. Drone is rechargeable from the docking station. Okay. Okay. Um, let's get those. 50, 50 of those. My dude is a little bit thirsty. So how about I drink some of the cement water? This water was left for the cement, but that's okay. Let's add three of those things over here. We've gotten only 15 points. That's disappointing. Now let's open up the B card, the A card, and let's see if we get any new loot here. So it doesn't really look like we have gotten some of the Genesis weapons. 
but that seems about it. Um, okay, I'll bring probably all of that stuff. Okay, didn't know that we'll take everything. Let's take more weapons. Let's take some new armor. And that is pretty much it. I don't really know if we need anything else here. Let's get that and uh, perhaps rubber. Plastic. I don't even know what we need to bring back to the base. Let's bring that plastic because we already probably have lots of rubber. Yeah, that's fine. If we need anything, we'll get it. So that's it. So that was bunker. That was the laboratory. We've gotten a few drone controllers from the bosses, but we didn't get anything from these crates. We didn't get anything new from these crates. The crates stayed the same. Six hours charge a minus flight. It's like the Doggo, but better version. Also, you need that drone to scan the chest. What? But you need that drone for this and that, but why still some people say that you need your ATV for that drone to configure the towers? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Maybe check Alpha after this. Nah, they haven't done anything to Alpha. Let's stop it. Let's just stop it. You don't need the ATV, it's just for the quests. Okay. It's for the drone mods. The drone has mods. Excuse me. All right, guys, let's quickly sort out the inventory and that's it. Let's go. Definitely the laboratory took us more than expected. I thought it'll take us like maybe 40 minutes tops and it's already been an hour. Unbelievable. Let's drop some of these weapons here. There we go. Don't even has a purple mod too, I guess so. Um, nothing fits here. Disappointing. Now I need to find a way to drop plastic. Still don't know where to keep that acid. Well, I have this chest where I store garbage. Don't really know if I want to store acid there, but I just did. Base sorting simulator. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. There we go. That's better than nothing. Right. There we go. We have sorted some things out. Now let's drop the gasoline if it fits here. Yes, it does fit. You can exchange your gun mods for drone mods. What? That's cool. Are you going to do the hard mode laboratory? No, no, we're not going to do it. It's the same thing, basically. So we're not going to go for the for that laboratory. But what we are going to do is assemble this thing over here. So first of all, we need to get some of these aluminum wires, which we should have most of them already. We have 11 of these aluminum wires here. I don't even know where do we begin because I have requested the developers to send some resources because as a last and earth partner every month, once in a while, I can ask them to send some loot. Most of the time, I just ask for coins to do some raids and that's pretty much it. But uh, I didn't ask anything for the settlement. Like in the past few months when the settlement came out, I didn't ask anything for the settlement because I wanted to grind in the settlement myself as we don't really unlock anything. But here they have released that new location and a lot of people have already unlocked it. So if I don't request anything, I'm never going to get that. Uh, it'll take me months and months and you'll never see any content from me about that uh, new place. So I, I requested that. So we're going to open a bunch of mercenary contracts. We are going to get some other stuff. Where is it? 
uh, we have some other resources. Is it? No, it's not. It's probably over here. Not in the resources. Probably in the spare parts, maybe. We have some of the screws here. We have some more aluminum cables. There we go. Let's get that. We have some rubber hoses. And as you can see, we have enough of these flight controllers. So we're going to add that stuff over there. And we have some other things here as well that we will check out and figure all of that stuff out later. So, yeah, let's drop... Uh, you know what? Let's get everything and then we'll drop everything there at the same time. We need only eight of these flight controller thingies. So let's add some of them over here. To the chest as we need only eight of them there we go let's drop rubber hoses and uh, wait actually i will get these rubber hoses as will require more of those aluminum wires so let's fire up that uh, montage table again let's go now to our settlement Like, you should do the mercenary contracts. We will open them up. We will do those mercenary contracts. Carlos, uh, Morin. I didn't want to read it the other way. So, yeah, Carlos, thank you for the uh, super chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, over here we should be able to get more of these aluminum cables now. Okay, we got five more, so we have now 14 in total. Uh, we need four more. We have 36 in total, not 14. I just want to check out one more thing. If I have any of these aluminum wires here. No, we only have some of these rubber hoses and that's it, sadly. So let's probably skip some of that stuff. Uh, we need four only. One, two, three, and four. There we go. I am absolutely ready, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready, though? Are you ready? Are we all ready for it? There we go. Let's skedaddle. How did you get the controllers? I've already explained everything a few minutes ago on how I got those controllers. Now, let's fill all of that stuff up here. Uh, let's add eight of these flight controllers. Let's add 40 of these aluminum cables. And just like that, we'll be able to finish this drone and docking station. So, boom. We crafted it. We've just completed another task here. So, return to the Eastern Watchtower tower with the drone. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten it. This is pretty cool. How about I touch it? What do I do with it? Drone fully charged. Oh. I literally just guessed it because when I clicked, I don't know why I even dragged it here, buddy. That's cool. So we have the drone here. Reliable support. All right. Use it. Oh, it goes in the extra pocket. So if you don't have the extra pocket, how does it work? You can't use it at all? Excuse me? That is interesting. Okay, let's get that stuff. Let's get some first aid kits. Um, this armor is okay. Let's get a few guns because I don't really know if we'll go now to the transport hub or not yet because I want to get ready for the transport hub. I want to get proper weapons for it. So for now, I'll just take like whatever for this event. And it should be enough. You must use it to unlock the new location. Okay. But once we unlock it, then I have to go back to the base. Well, we'll figure all of that stuff out. Doesn't matter. Let's go there now, and then we'll get back to the base again. What are these new shenanigans? I have no idea. We're about to figure it all out, ladies and gents. We are about to check it all out. Bring some modified weapons. I mean, we have to go to the Eastern Watchtower for now, and then once we have to go to the... Whatever the place is called. Transport hub. Then we will go to the transport hub and I'll get more guns. Because I don't want to over prep now. 
if there's anything that we need to pick up. Whatever you do, don't die at the hub. Some people say to not die at the hub, but you can also recover your loot from the hub, so... Alrighty, we're back here. We gotta talk to Chris. Chris, welcome. Uh, God, it looks all right. Let's try it out. That's it. What do I do? Launch the drone. So let's just click it. Oh, I have to click on this thing. Now let's see. Look at this. The drone is here. Wait, please. Up there, I think we've ruffled his feathers. Oh, look at this. There's some sort of a zombie that came down. We have to wait a few seconds. And the drone came back. Fight off the beast. Finish him. Do I click on the drone? But the drone does nothing! The drone absolutely does nothing. I clicked on the drone thing, but the drone does absolutely nothing. That's stupid. Whatever, let's finish the lurker. The drone seriously did nothing. Maybe it doesn't have any attachments, that's why. And I just used up one of the drone abilities or something. Let's talk to Chris. I'm afraid one tower isn't enough to recalibrate the others. Uh, set up towers. Um, screwed something onto your drone to shoot now. Cool, huh? Okay. Core module installed trigger. The drone will now be able to attack enemies. Okay, that's cool, except I already wasted that drone attack. That's sad. Absolutely sad. So now we have to recalibrate those towers fully. But what happens if you don't recalibrate all of them? Hmm. Hmm. And it doesn't always follow you. You have to click on the drone for it to follow you. But, ladies and gentlemen, we can now go to the uh, transport hub, not the laboratory, right? We can go now to the transport hub without recalibrating all the towers. We can try the hub now. Okay, before we try the hub, I want to go to the northern tower. We have this tower, then we have this tower over here that's two towers. Where's the third tower? I can't do the third tower because I've just been there. And there are only three towers in the game. Where's one more tower? Try to recalibrate the others. Yes, we are going to recalibrate the others. Oh, the lighthouse tower over there. This one. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I've completely forgotten about it. Okay, so it's going to take a while to recalibrate all of these towers. Let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. So you don't have to recalibrate all of these towers right now. It's only needed if you want to progress further. And if that's true, and if these are still Act 2 tasks, right? Which, they don't really look like Act 2 tasks, but if these are Act 2 tasks, then to go for the Act 3, you have to have the ATV. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? To unlock Act 3, you'll have to have your ATV. Excuse me, sir? It's kind of ridiculous. That's kind of actually crazy. Okay. Okay, let's deal with these raiders here real quick. I'm on fire! Mouth. There we go. We got these schmucks. Let's get the drone then. There we go. We are recalibrating uh, to this another tower. We have a helicopter at home. Helicopter at home. <laughs> that drone. Ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. Ridiculous. Okay, let's go... Northern Watchtower. Wait, we gotta return to the settlement now, it says? Wait, what? It takes a while to go from one place to another place. Like, we have unlocked so many things that we just need to keep going everywhere. Transport hub, open the gates. Okay, so we gotta do this. And we also gotta return to the settlement. So let's return to the settlement and maybe... 
Now we can go to the transport hub, so maybe let's go there. I'll just get enough weapons for it and we can go. Lighthouse next, we can finish all of them at once. I need the ATV to get to the swamp anyways. I can't go there and foot. I need the ATV, ladies and gents, so I had to go back to the base and return. Plus, it says that I have to talk to Chris, and I kind of want to talk to Chris. I want to see what the schmuck says. Welcome, Chris. I realized what was missing silence. I reduced the noise level so that enemies wouldn't notice your drone. Oh, we've gotten another mod. So basically, for recalibrating those towers, we get uh, free mods. Okay, passive module installed seal motors. The drone will now attract less attention uh, from the enemies. Okay, so it's like... I get it. I get it. Ladies and gentlemen, I get it. Swamp Watchtower can be finished. You need iron rods, but it was finished before. So wait, wait a minute. If you need iron rods, settlement level four item, how do I get those uh, iron rods? If that's true, wait, that might actually be the case. If we need these iron rods, that means even when you assemble the ATV, you can't go to the swamp location unless you have the settlement now. Is that really the case? If that's true, then that's kind of huge. Oh my goodness. The wrong button. That's true, Cyric. Wait, I still want to go there and see it with my own two eyes. I mean, why wouldn't I want to go and check that out? If that's true, that's actually ridiculous. So you have to play in the settlement now. You can get the swamp without the settlement. I mean, I already have the swamp, so I mean, I already have it. But those that didn't have the swamp before this update... Iron rods can be obtained from the transport hub. Oh. Can they? That's just an iron frame, but what about iron rods? It doesn't really look like you can get iron rods here. You just get the iron frame, not the iron rods. Huh. You can get resources at the hub. It says in the description of the resources. Okay, but why I can't see that here? Then if it says in the description of the resources, maybe. I saw it, you can. Check better. Dude, stop it. Don't scream at me. Uh, I really don't see it. We have these iron pipes. We have other stuff. Uh, I only see these iron frames, guys. I don't see the iron whatever bars. Or whatever was or whatever we needed here. It's not here. Maybe it is possible to get them, but they're not shown there. Okay, whatever, let's hop in here. Crates in the hub give that. Well, maybe they give that. I'm not arguing with that. I'm just saying that they don't really show that for some reason. Maybe they'll add that later. Launch the drone. I need, first of all, a crowbar, but I have already unlocked this place once. Please tell me I have a crowbar here. Don't tell me I gotta go back to the base. Uh, I don't. Oh, I do have a crowbar. That's nice. It's absolutely bloody lovely, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. Check the car. Okay, there was a crowbar in the car. That's great. And, uh... There is no signal. Fix the signal amplifier. No way. No way. Don't tell me that you really need to have those resources right now. So we have to grind in the settlement. <laughs> that is kind of ridiculous. Man. That is crazy. Oh, there we go. There was the crowbar. I see it. Okay, the dude is dead. That's crazy. Whoa. What even is this place? It's a lot of crates here. 
And we need the signal amplifier things. Well, excuse me. Maybe I'm going to take a picture and I'll forget it. Uh, there we go. So yeah, we need these iron rods. Can be found at the transport hub or crafted in a broaching machine in the settlement. Heavyweight item. Okay, heavyweight item. Understandable. Have a nice day. So we got to bring here lots of resources. First of all, we got to get these antennas, which I don't even know if I have all of them. Also, we need to get these copper wires. So it is going to take a while to get this, but at the same time, it's just for a drone mod. It's not for anything crazy. But at the same time, if you need those... Do you need those things to progress in the story? Maybe you don't need to do these things to progress through Act 2. Because if they ever release Act 3 and you have to do all of those things, then... Good luck. It's going to take you years to do that. Like, literally years. So to progress to Act 3, you'll have to play for years. Which, maybe that's not the case. Maybe just like some sort of a side quest from Chris. Because it doesn't really look like it's... 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 It's needed. I don't know. Okay, we gotta go up there now. I wanna check out this tower. No, you don't need them for the act, too. Then probably you don't need that stuff for the act, too. All right, let's run now to this thing. I don't even know why I came back to the base. It makes no sense. Whatever, let's go there. I'll hop on the boat, and I'll go here to this watchtower. If you finish towers, new location, northwest of farm. What do you mean, northwest of farm? A new location, guys. You're lying to me, right? It's not this. It's not a side quest. It's the whole storyline. Some people say that you don't need to complete that stuff to progress to Act 3. I mean, Act 3 is not in the game, so I don't really know what we have to do to progress further. Maybe it's a storyline. Maybe it's not a storyline. I have no idea. Because if it's a storyline and you have to progress, you have to do that stuff to progress to Act 3 when Act 3 comes out, then that's crazy. That that's a lot of grind. Like, honestly. It's just a sub-quest. Some people say a sub-quest, some people say it's a main quest, but well, we'll see. To be honest, it would show up here, because it already says that my Act 2 is completed. Like, it doesn't... ...say anything... About anything here, right? Like, movement, build-out, foundation. Like, we've already done everything here. So, it's not really from these acts. So, these quests are not from the acts. It's just quests from the settlement, I guess. That would make the most sense. I want to check if the suburbs are real. Guys, what are you talking about? Are you lying to me? That's... Is that true? Okay, let's deal with these pirates. For some reason, I thought they are parasites. Almost called them parasites. But these are just silly pirates. Let's deal with all of them at the same time. We'll get some extra uh, seaweed. There we go. Another stupid pirate. Alright, I am ready to open this up. The drone doesn't see the signal. Something is jamming it. Okay, so we gotta do something here as well. Turn off the jamming signal. Where is it? 
What happened here? Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? A ship? Excuse me. Five, eight, eight, four, one. Five, eight, eight, four, one. Five, eight, eight, four, one. What does it even mean? Five, eight, eight, four, one. Does it mean anything? I have no idea. Oh no, zombies. I woke them up. Of course. Of course, I woke them up. Okay, let's deal with these midshipmen. Got him. Now let's launch the drone. When will you continue playing Grim Soul? I mean, it can't continue something that I've never played before. Now the drone can intercept the signal. Okay, so that's the second tower. Hmm. Now we have to return to the settlement. Okay, so cool. We can just get another mod then. Epic. But what about the ship? The ship has never been here before. It's a different ship, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it bloody interesting? That is bloody interesting. Would be cool if you like click on it and it would... You could swim on the ship somewhere. And get like some sort of a chest with some epic loot. 10 grenade launchers, for example. 15 purple blueprints. 15 purple cards. That'd be amazing. Okay, let's get that enough from this place. Let's go back to the base. And uh, yeah, it looks like we gotta go now to the transport hub. Take the Genesis weapon to the transport hub, okay? I will get him. You need a stronger weapon and, re and reanimators because the boss has 3,000 health and is easy to die from lab zombies. And if you die, you lose all of your stuff. Wait, is that true? If you die, you lose all of your things. Some people say that your body still spawns, but some people say that you lose all of your items in the transport hub. Is that true or not? Check the inbox for the iron bars. Do we have them? I have no idea if we have these iron bars. Maybe we do. We have iron billets. It doesn't really look like we have those iron bars yet. They say very true. You lose... You lose all... You get one death reclaim body, but next visit it resets. Okay. Then we'll have to be more careful. All right, guys, I'm going to get the reanimators then for that location. Thanks for the heads up. Thank you for the heads up. We'll get their stronger guns. Scars. Oh my god, Sarek, no! Yes. We're going to get scars for that place. Let's get this. Um... That one, and, do and not duct tape, but gasoline. There we go, let's drop that here. Now, let's talk to Chris at the settlement. Chris is gonna upgrade a drone even more. Don't forget Genesis weapons. Yes, guys, we are definitely gonna take Genesis weapons for sure. Um, um, there we go, let's talk to Chris. I designed one more module. The drone does more damage now, and it can hang in the air. Activate the drone when it's uh, already flying next to you for the new module to work. Okay. Active module installed Sentinel. Now, after the activation, you can send the drone to the point where it will hover and uh, damage will increase. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, to progress any further, right? We need to get those iron somethings. And how are they called and where do I even build them? Is it in the foundry? Oh, broaching machine. There we go. Level 4 foundry required. To get that, we probably need to craft the substation. So for that, we'll require to get 60 of those aluminum cables. Right? And, uh... 
it's gonna take us a while as we need to have here walls at level three. So it's gonna take us forever. We definitely need to start upgrading that settlement to get those rods, to get those metal rods, whatever they're called. Yikes. Or maybe we could get those rods from the port hub, transport hub. We'll pick up that signal when we recalibrate the towers. I can't wait to find out what's in there. I can't talk to him again. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. That's it. Let's go back now to the base. We have to go to the transport hub. Let's get the loot. I'll get probably another set of armor. I'll get some guns. I'll get some Genesis weapons. And some reanimators. I mean, we have the scars. We might as well just get them, right? Let's get that. This armor is about to break, so let's get another one right away. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Let's get another SWAT armor. Let's also get some healing items. The port location, huh? Let's get more food. There's two stacks of healing items enough. Let's get another one. They're good. The more the better. You can never have too much food, right? Too, my, too many healing items as well. Okay, there's that. Let's get a few Genesis weapons. Pistols. As they're probably the best of these guns miss. Four guns. Is four enough, guys? Or do we need more? Four Genesis. I mean, if we need more Genesis weapons, I'll be able to whip some of them out from the inbox real quick. As we still have a few of them there. Don't forget the drone. We do have the drone. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's it. We've just upgraded the guns. It's enough, enough. Buggers. Now I need my reanimators. There we go. Let's get our first shot. Then I'll get the other shot here. I'm already ready for it. Let's get rid of this Glock here. And that's it. I mean, after that, we'll be able to clear that place without the scars and everything. I just want to know what I'm heading into. So we're going there to overkill that place, right? It's a little bit overkill probably, but I still want to go there. Let's say charge the drone. Can I even charge the drone? How long does it take to charge it? And how long does the drone last? I have no idea. In any case, how do I even charge the drone? Okay. Time remaining till charge is restored. Three hours. I mean, whatever. Let's get it for the sake of education. You guys gathered here for a reason. First to waste coins on that drone, so let's go for it. Three hours. See you guys later. See you guys in three hours. Say so yeah, a smash like, and let's go for the thing. Yikes. Don't forget the grenade launcher. We didn't get grenade launchers. I don't think we need it. Right. Maybe pop a reanimator. I've just, I've popped the reanimator already. We have it. So hey guys, for the first time ever, let's go to the transport hub. Let's go home. Get the minigun. I mean, we took the scars. I'm ready to waste some of these scars here that we have for the first time. Port, laboratory, whatever. The drone is charging with Bluetooth electricity. I mean, I didn't see how it was charging. It discharges after four uses, but how long does it last? I mean, we'll figure it out, I guess. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Smash like. And let's get ready for the... For the transport hub. Let's click this thing. I feel the drone's gonna fly to the other side. It did something with those red lasers. It hacked the door! My mission complete now. That's it. And I have no clue where's the drone. It's gone. Well, there are some zombies. That's it. Let's start dealing with these fast riders. Fast bloaters. I'll try... 
to pick up everything that they got here. And this thing. Looks like there's something, but I can't click on it. Just blow up the gate. Why not just climb over the gate? Like, we could have just climbed over the gate or something. I mean, really? We needed a drone for it? Oh, there's another door. There are more doors! Doors everywhere! Where do I go? Where do I start? Is this like Bunker Alpha or is it more like abandoned uh, factory? Will there be any more loading screens or that's it? This is like a abandoned factory here. Looks like it's a abandoned factory. Let's loot the trash bins! I'm never gonna say no to looting some trash bins. Nothing. Door simulator. You will see. Okay. Keep your secrets then. Understandable. So far the loot is kind of okay. Can't go there. Locked from the other side. So it's like factory. Some of you are saying. Okay. Can't go there either. These guys just dropped us Bunker Bravo card. What is this thing? Vapors. Even with the apocalypse, this planet has beautiful sunsets. Mike created a whole lunch zone on the roof. So asked to remember to enjoy life. Well, he did the best he could. Oh. Okay. Wait, what about sunsets? We guys, a few few weeks ago, we memed about sunsets. The last on Earth has beautiful sunsets. And now, all of a sudden, they added this note about sunsets? Hmm. Oh, I stupid acid melter. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. What do you mean, L Mike? Sunsets are cool. I don't even know who's Mike, though. I don't remember that dude. Okay, so here we need a burglar perk to open that stuff up. Understandable. So it looks like we'll need to assemble the bridge to get to the other side. Excuse me, we can also get here some oak planks. Cool. So now this drone takes an extra slot here. That's kind of silly. I don't know if I like it. I kind of don't like it, to be honest with you. Hmm. Hmm. Can I open this up? Obviously not, and nothing on that side, so let's go inside. Let's deal with these zombie officers, let's see what this place has to offer. Cargo zone. Okay. The dude was punching the vending machine. It's my job to punch them. Inside we got some canned food. Cargo delivery terminal. We need this thing, a terminal card. What? Opens access to the cargo delivery terminal in the transport hub. Uh, okay. I don't know where does one get it, but we'll see. There's lots of cargo loot, but I can't get any of that. Oh, no. Stupid acid melter. Okay, at least I can run now again. Okay, everything's locked, so what's the point? How do I get there? You get this from the boss miner. Alright. This car is about to break. I'm sorry to, to delete it fully. I know it's not good. It's painful. It pains me as well, but... I want to get the loot because I'll forget it. Okay, let's go up, I guess. We are now on the second floor. That's interesting. Okay, so, so far these zombies are very basic. It looks like this place is... Doesn't require fully modded scars for sure, at least at the very beginning. There's a red crate! We've never seen one like that! Oh, a drone can open it up. Bruh. Cargo scan, but what can I do with that scan? Hey! Come back! I can't open it up. There's a chest, but I've, I've scanned the cargo, but I can't do anything with it. I got scammed? Triple question mark? Probably. Can't go there either. There's something here, though. Oh, the drone is back. It's scanning something as well. Cargo scanned, but why, why do I need to scan it? Scan four crates. Use boss key to open one of four crates in the end. What? 
Whatever, I'll just keep scanning those things. So the more I scan, the more crates I'll be able to open up once I get that miner's key. Okay, we'll be able to go down there. We'll be able to go down there. But before we do that, I want to go over here first. Whoa! Whoa, we need to assemble this thing. Is it worth it? Maybe. So that's what we need for the bridge. It doesn't really look that expensive-ish. It is doable. Maybe I even have some of those resources already, except I don't think I have these iron sheets. Okay. Okay. We'll see it. We will see it. Can't climb down from that side. Maybe I'll be able to climb up from there, though. Okay, let's go down the... Stupid acid melter. Stupid acid melter. Okay, that dude's spitting at me. I don't like it. Are there any other crates that I could steal? Only one cargo will be... Only one cargo will be opened. I don't understand anything. Well, we'll see what's going on. Let's go further then. Okay, we could climb down there. Okay. How does one climb down though? From that side? But there are zombies here. How do I climb down? Like this? Okay. Oh, I see. I see, ladies and gents. I see what you were talking about. Look, there are these carrions, so you have to have the right guns for them. I'm gonna just activate the drone. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it's doing, if it's attacking them or not. My armor is about to break. Ladies and gentlemen. My armor is about to break. Okay. Uh, I'll get a new armor. I'll get that. And they're healing up by 30! Whoa! Whoa, they're healing up! Kind of stupid if you ask me. Okay. There's the stupid drone. Does the drone do any damage to them at all? Or nothing. Okay, one carry and dead. Okay, I just realized that they're healing up. I was like, what are those green things? It took me quite a while to realize with so many things happening here. Sheesh, we got this schmuck. We got all of them. They're dropping alpha card tickets here. Why do we need them? But okay, I'm not gonna say no to that. Thanks, drone. I don't even know if drone does anything. But well, I got him. Thanks, drone. Thank you, drone. Do I need to activate the special thing? Okay, the drone just flew away. Wow. Drone deals 1 to 5 damage. Only against these enemies because they were armored. So I think other enemies will... He'll do more damage against other enemies, probably. I've gotten three copper bars. Alrighty. I'm not gonna take these yellow green coupons, though. I mean, I'd kind of like to take them to see the loot, but we'll remember that we've also gotten five green tickets. That's it. All right, there we go. So we could, we can leave from here now. There is a crashed helicopter. Excuse me. That is pretty, pretty interesting. So let's get more healing items. So guys, I know that the minor boss fight is coming up. For that fight, do I need anything else or is this one armor enough? Oh, there's a forklift that we need to assemble. Wow, 40 more metal thingies. That'll take us forever. 40 aluminum cables, whatever. I'll take another picture here one day. Maybe we'll assemble it. Maybe no. There's more cargo up top. Okay, we'll try to get there. Yellow is not worth it. Yeah, we don't need yellow either. We already have like thousands of yellow in the base. That's true. Okay. Can wall trick the boss. All right. At least it doesn't take the charge for the for him to scan that crate. For the drone to scan the crate, it doesn't take any charges. Okay, there's the there's another crate. All right, we've gotten some more loot. Okay, don't know if, why I need this, but we can get it. Okay, nothing here. Can't click on that. I assume maybe that's where that minor boss comes out of. Probably. I'm ready. 
I've already opened that crate. Still don't know why I have to scan those crates, though. How do I get to the other side? Because it looks like we could get there. Use the forklift. Okay, so we need to get the forklift. Can we go up again? Oh, no, that's the same thing. We're just going down. So, yeah, maybe for this forklift, we'll... That's all. I'll be able to get to the top and open up another chest. Okay, so I don't have the forklift yet. The boss is minor. Yes, guys, I've been spoiled. I know that the boss is minor. Um, I need Kevlar armor. Maybe the SWAT armor is enough. Uh, I mean, let's click the button. Let's smash some things. We did that. Okay, there are a few sailors. Still, so far, this place isn't that hard. It's say only that room where we climb down it requires those special weapons. Those Genesis weapons. So that part is kind of tricky. Very tricky. Let's deal with all of these guys. Boss in first container, just wait to last to open it. Which container? This one? Is the boss in this blue container? Just don't loot that room. Which room? The orange one. Okay, so the boss is in the orange crate. Okay. This crate, right? That's where the boss is located. Cool. Or the yellow crate. There's also a yellow crate. In this crate. Is the boss in this crate? Or in this crate? I don't know. Whatever. Let's go for the blue crate. It's orange. Some people say it's random. Oh, yeah. There we go. So maybe it was random then. Okay, so how about I use this? So people said he can wall trick. Is that really true? Okay, so it is possible to do something. How much damage does the boss do? Uh... Okay, so it is possible to wall trick this guy. Cool. Okay, let's wait until he does that thing again. Okay, so it'll be doable. All right, cool. I mean, the drone did decent amount of damage to him. Did it do decent amount, decent amount of damage? I don't think so. Okay, how much damage does the schmuck do even? Oh, wow, oh, wow. I almost died from the boss. Wow. Like, getting him without the wall trick will be pretty tough then here. No, I got stunned. Please tell me I won't die. I won't get drilled to death here. Well, he just stuns you immediately. You don't even have enough time to run away. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? He just starts drilling you here. Okay. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, look at that. What kind of a boss fight is this? I don't know if I like it, to be honest. It's kind of silly. Like, I really don't know if I like this boss. Like, I really don't know that it's like... Honestly, I don't know if I like it. It's just non-stop special spam attacks that you can't dodge or do anything. Lots of running, lots of first aid gets wasted. He just stuns you constantly. I don't really like that. I don't know. It's a really weird boss. If they're gonna patch up the, the wall here, I mean. If they... Again, it's Waltrick. Waltrick's been always in the game, right? It's in Bunker Alpha. So if... And I'm sure they'll fix this. Because I don't think they intended this miner to be destroyed like that. But it's not even fun. Like, I honestly... Don't find it fun. I like a challenge, but... For example, the boss from Bunker Bravo, Dr. Dread. I think that boss was implemented very well. Like, that's the best boss, in my opinion. Because there are things you can run around. And yeah, but here he just like spams these attacks nonstop, and all of these attacks probably stun you. 
Like, I can guarantee you that probably most of these attacks just stun you and do an insane amount of damage. Let's heal up just to have full health. Just so that he just doesn't one-shot me. Look at this! All the time, these special attacks. This is intended, probably. I really doubt that. They've added, like, a bunch of stages to this boss. I almost died, like... I almost died, like, wall-tricking this schmuck. Like, how are you supposed to get him? Honestly. <laughs> Ridiculous. Maybe if you're far away, the, he doesn't spam it. But he's pretty fast. The boss is really fast. Like, there's no way you'll be able to shoot and run. Again, I got stunned. Whoa. At least he doesn't one-shot us, but... That's kind of crazy. I mean, obviously, we'll try to fight him again someday differently. Some attacks just stun you way too quickly. Okay, this dude is about to die. Okay, we don't even do that much damage. That is kind of crazy. Okay. I don't know what I think about this boss, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like this boss or not? Have we killed this boss without any wall tricks? Is it even possible to kill it without wall tricks? Probably. I assume it is possible. But that'll take forever of... That'll take, like, lots of running around. An insane amount of first aid kits, probably. But so we got the boss. 750 points towards the season pass. And we've got an one terminal card here. Opens access to the cargo delivery terminal. Oh. Okay, let's get it. 5 out of 10 boss fight. I mean, again, it's not supposed to be fought here with the wall trick, I guess. But without the wall trick, it's just like... That's all you'll have to do. Just run around like one... You shoot once and you keep running. That'll be the entire fight. Just one shot and you keep running. One shot and you keep running. It's like you missed the truck. What truck? What truck? The shower makes sense. Well, I'll open up another door. Oh, there are choppers inside. What'd they get here? An engine? Cool? I guess... I mean, does it count towards the raider tasks, maybe? Some green schmuck zombies from the dead island. Okay. There's another crate that we can open up. The echo crate. Crossbow and more copper. Which is not that bad. We've gotten eight copper bars from this run. And if you always get that amount of copper, that is ridiculous. That's a lot of copper. If it's guaranteed that that's like seriously an insane amount of copper. Like that's decent loot. Like I'm not even kidding. That's like eight steel bars. That's a lot of guns and you don't even have to get that. I mean... You can, you can be lucky and open that stuff up without the miner. So these copper bars can be gotten probably without the miner, which is good. That gets my approval. These copper bars are really good. Really good. Again, I'm sorry for deleting this card, but it is what it is. I'm going to get probably that. Then maybe I'll get the rest of the things one day. Whatever. Let's send it to the storage there. I really like using it, but whatever. The loot in this location is great. We can get a tactical backpack. That's huge. That's huge indeed. Crossbow pog. <laughs> yes, we got the crossbow. Is there anything else that I've mi uh, that I've missed? Delete the drone. Is it possible to delete the drone? Oh, it doesn't allow us to delete the drone. So far, the drone was trash. I'm not gonna lie. It looked like the drone was like three at one out of ten. Like in this location, drone is kind of trash. It didn't do anything. It did like hundred damage. Maybe upgraded drone will do more damage to weaker zombies. Because with the minor fight, this drone was kind of pointless. It has only four charges and it does almost nothing. You missed the truck, Psych. Where is that truck? What do you mean you, I missed the truck? This truck? What truck? What are you talking about? Okay, let's try to hop inside. Can't open the door. 
Okay, there we go. There's this door. Let's open it up. From inside the building. We're gonna open up that crate. I just don't get it. What people... They're talking about truck. Yes, that truck. So what? what's with that truck? What's the point of that truck? Oh, I can get inside of that truck. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Open a door. Guys, we're gonna open up the door very soon. I wanna know what truck... You're talking about. Can't go through here. Can't go through there either. Where's that truck? Where's the truck? Ladies and gentlemen. Where's the goddamn truck? So, so far I like the transport hub. It's a- it's an interesting place, it's different from what we've seen, so I'd give it... I don't know, loot-wise, it's hard to say it, but... How interesting it is, I'd at least give it like an 8 out of 10, it's really good, I really like it so far. It's not too hard, it's not like just... Except the miner. I'm still not sure what I think about the miner, but other than that, I kind of like this place, it's interesting, it's different. It's- it doesn't have like thousands of enemies where you just have to spray your guns non-stop, well, besides the miner. But, I kind of like it. So, you know what? I do enjoy it. There's the truck. That's it, but I can't enter the truck. If that's the right truck, it's not the right truck. There we go. There's the right truck. We're inside. Oh, there's the secret room. Ladies and gentlemen, a secret room inside of the truck. Thanks for letting me know. Eh, we got some fiberglass. Okay. Little bit of fiberglass. Forklift has the best cargo. Okay, so we'll need to also repair these other things. It takes a while to repair them, but I actually don't mind them. It's kind of interesting to assemble things. Like... I might be crazy, but it is interesting to... To assemble new things in the game, as that's what the, this game is about. Maybe it is a little bit overkill to get 40 of these aluminum cables. As lots of things require these aluminum cables and 20 of these motor oils. What about five of these rotors? That's pretty hard as well. But hey, at least, hey, now we need to use our titanium bars, which... Okay. They say fourth cargo forklift. I don't even know fourth cargo forklift. I don't have that forklift. So I can't do it. Also, is it only me? But I have something to tell you guys. Why can't I just climb over this box? Why can't I just kick it? I could probably even shimmy through this thing. Look at this. There's enough space. Why is it so stupid? But hey, it is what it is. Whatever. Let's open up the huge cargo now. How do I go there? No, not through here. Getting lost. It's like in every game, there's a tree. Uh, on the ground, that's it. We have to go all around it. We have to go around the mountain to go over the tree. Same thing here. That's not where I go. It's gotta be here. There we go. Finally found the exit. So, ladies and gents, let's use the key right now. I think we've gotten everything there is to get. Let's use it and let's check the loot. I've opened it up, but where does it go? I've opened that thing. I used the key. Oh, I needed to click on it. Cargo delivery terminal. Unknown shipper. Possible rewards. We can get a vinyl record. Thank you. I don't need it. Thank you very much. We can get another crate that can give us an ATV transmission. Thank you. I kind of don't need it. These things. Uh, we can get an extremely rare weapon mod. Okay. Kind of go. And what about here? Not scanned. Oh, so I don't have the fourth cargo, so I haven't scanned it and we don't know the loot in it. Oh, fourth is the forklift and I haven't scanned it yet. Scan the cargo in the storehouse using a drone and for that we need to have the drone. Oh. Second crate has settlement items. I mean, it has that motor oil, so we'll probably go for the second crate, honestly, because that's the only thing that we'd actually need here, like that motor oil. The military crate is... 
I know this one is probably the best thing because it has settlement items. So let's go for it. Let's open the second one. Third crate has guns. Maybe it has guns, but... I don't know, honestly. You get more than what you see. Third is better. Paul, well, it's Paul time. Uh, not even the first. I'm kind of sad. The first crate here is crying in the corner. Nobody cares about that first crate. People are fighting over the second and third crate. Should I open the second or the third crate? Second. Third. There we go, guys. You can vote here right now in the poll. I see lots of you saying the third crate, so we should probably open up the third crate. Let's probably then go for the third crate. I don't think we even need a poll here, actually. But we'll see. Second for the forklift. So, but we need the second crate to get forklift items, right? I mean, we don't care about guns. Like, you guys see a scar here and you lose your mind. Like, people see a scar here and that's it. Third for oil, but oil is here, literally. Third motor oil is here. The third, we need guns. We don't really need guns, guys. We can get guns from other places. Like, I'm curious what we can get here, but... Let's say inbox for forklift. I don't have things in the inbox for the forklift. Like, I don't have things to assemble the forklift. I only got some of these light parts. Some iron sheets, screws. Wait, do I have another stuff? I have some rotors. Wait. I might actually have enough things for the forklift today, right now. Boomers. I don't know if I want to waste it, though, on that thing, but we'll do it. Hey, boomers. We might assemble the forklift and I might scan it. Inbox for guns. Guys, I will drop kick you. Every single one of you. Cyric, which crate do I open up? Don't open this crate. If you need that loot, go to your inbox. Okay. Um, I don't have the aluminum wires. You said that I have all the items here. I don't have the aluminum wires. I don't have 40 aluminum wires. We could maybe get them today-ish. Uh, which crate gives aluminum wires? Second or third one? I have iron sheets, I have screws, I have iron billets, I have the rotors, the coils, the drone replacement batteries, another... Yeah, we have rotors. I don't really know if I have 20 motor oils, though. Maybe I have them at the base. I definitely have enough of that stuff and definitely enough of that stuff. So I might not have enough of aluminum cables. The fourth one does. Huh. I have another prop if if we had second, third, or fourth crate, which guys would you open up? Would you want me to open up the fourth crate? If I assemble the thing, should we open up the fourth crate if I had it? Because I think we can go to the base and we can get those aluminum things. And I can open up the fourth one. The third one will impress you guys. If we get their five guns, I'm not gonna flip out. Because I don't think we'll get one. They say fourth one is better. I can go to the base and open the fourth one. Okay, so this Paul won, the third crate won. Okay, I'm gonna make another poll. Uh, should we open the third or the fourth crate? Third. There you go, guys. There's another poll. Fourth crate. We'll just have to wait until that thing resets so I don't kind of want to make a mistake. Let's see, what about the bridge? And yeah, if we fix the bridge, what's with the bridge? Oh my goodness, again, I'm stuck here! Okay, go through here, probably. There we go. You can get 40 aluminum. 40 aluminum? What do I get from the second crate? I want to open up all of those crates and see what we get. And this thing. We could maybe even uh, assemble this bridge. Is this bridge- is this bridge worth it? They say, don't leave the place. Why I shouldn't leave this place? If I leave, does something happen?
All zombies respawned until the loot disappeared. What? The location can reset. Some of you say nothing happens. You have the items for the bridge and the inbox. I don't have... Uh, do I have all of them? I have all the screenshots here. The bridge. The screws. The other stuff. I do have items for the bridge though. Probably in the inbox. I have some screws. Alright, so we have enough screws. I have... Enough light parts. I have enough light frames. I have enough, probably, duct tape. Do we? We have enough duct tape. Iron wires. I don't have 20 iron wires. I gotta go back to the base for the 20 iron wires. And then I need 10 of those iron sheets. It's like, open the third crate, then come again. You can do the fourth crate because this time you entered by quest. Area resets if you die, not if you leave by fighting the boss. Okay, so we see lots of different things. Just open the gun crate. Yeah, I think we should just open the gun crate. So before, let's take a shit here. And then we'll open the gun crate. And then we can come here again and then this place will reset and I'll be able to do it again. I mean, in any case, I kind of don't want to lose the crate. I want to still assemble the forklift. I'm still assembling the forklift today. I'll try to do it. That's it. I'll open... I've opened up this crate. Let's see what's up, boomers. An extremely rare weapon mod blueprint. Do we always get one? Hmm. Hmm. We've gotten a basic military backpack. I think sometimes maybe we can get here a military backpack. Like a tactical backpack. All right. Um, I need to bring the loot back to the base. I mean, I can't bring all of it unless I'll just send it like this. Whoa, it worked. It bloody worked. Okay, so was the loot worth it? I I don't know. The the miner takes lots of guns to deal with. The miner is pretty strong. These other zombies are like okay, but the miner though, that's pretty tough. It's it's okay loot. I'm not gonna say that it's disappointed because the purple mod is alright if it's guaranteed, but we don't really know if it's guaranteed. Without the purple mod, the crate is mid at best. But with the purple mod, it's okay. They say you got the worst. Bro. I should have taken the second crate. Second crate is much better. Maybe. Maybe. Now I gotta... Wait, if I leave this place, will this place reset or not? Because I kind of want to clear it again. Okay, we can open that stuff. And if I leave this place, will it reset or not? Will it be able to come back here again? Hmm. Second is better until you build everything. Maybe. Minivan upgrade. Thank you. I don't need it. Okay, updates in one day and 23 hours. What if I go back here? Return to the western watchtower with the drone. So I gotta go all the way there because this is the eastern watchtower. Okay, let's go back here then. Is the this another quest? Hmm. Get rid of everything in your inventory. We'll probably do that. Will this thing reset again? Then we'll have to fight the miner. I mean, without the wall tricking, is miner even possible? Because they'll probably fix it. Like, they'll probably make miner a lot harder and you won't be able to wall trick the miner. I think so. Oh, the, the northern watchtower. Oh, return to the western watchtower with the drone. That's the western watchtower, and I can't go there. I'm an idiot, guys. I'm <laughs> stupid. Like, absolutely stupid. Kind of a donut. 
Okay, so we don't have to go there yet. We don't have to go there, it's fine. They say your drone is empty. Which crates give me those iron rods? If it's the second crate, then those that said that I should open up third crate... You guys are silly gooses. Which crate gives me those iron rods? I should have asked that question. The fourth crate or the second crate? Maybe it's the fourth crate. Second crate. You got wars, bro. I got two scars and one grenade launcher. Second and fourth, fourth, second, second. Yeah, the third crate was like mid at best. Seriously, mid. I know what's all the hype about the third crate. It's not bad. I'm not saying that it's bad, but the way you guys said it, it's as if I'll get their four grenade launchers. Um. Okay, let's quickly sort out the inventory then. We didn't need to bring all the scars there. I mean, we could take the scars for the miner though, but the other enemies don't really require those scars. It was, it wasn't that hard of a place. I like it. I still think it's all right. I mean, the point is we can get lots of guns from Bunker Alpha already. Like I wouldn't clear that place to get like four guns because we most likely used that amount of guns in that place. In any case, it is what it is. I'm glad we opened up that crate. We now know more about it. Let's probably drop the drone to charge it. Then I'll take it. There goes, start charging, schmuck. Look at this, it's charging. <laughs> Ridiculous. Unbelievable. Uh, the stupid uh, thing here, crossbow, then titanium. You already killed the miner, so it's not going to reset. Well, at least I'll go and assemble the forklift. Maybe. Or at least the bridge. We can still assemble the bridge, though. At least. Well, we can assemble some of those things. Still, just for eight copper bars, that place is kind of worth it. Without the miner, you can get those eight copper bars kind of without the miner. I like it. It kind of gets my approval. Who's better, the John or the true friend? I don't know. Both of them are kind of... May-ish. I mean, I haven't used the drone yet. That much. But it takes, like... How many hours it's gonna take us to recharge this drone? Uh, three hours for one. That's crazy. It's gonna take us 12 hours to recharge this drone fully. Excuse me, sir? So I don't know. I'm gonna take a shower here real quick. Look, chemistry table. Okay, what's in the chemistry table? Iodine. We didn't have that stuff before. We had only those three things. They've added another one. We've gotten this iodine. Is it any good? Is it worth it for some upgrades somewhere? Maybe, but hey, we can get it now here. That's cool. Thanks for the info. So you know what? It's alright. At least the loot isn't that bad in those crates. Like, it's fine. Even the third crate loot was fine. Iodine for drone mods. Okay. Okay. That's it. I am ready to upgrade at least that bridge. Right, at least the bridge. Maybe the drone will auto-heal you. I think for that we need, like, drone mods. Iodine. Iodine. That's what I said. I said iodine. What is the problem? Matthew Spellman. Aodina. That's not how you say it, Eodina. There's no way it's not Eodina. 
trying to bamboozle me, Matthew. Probably the John Mod table apparently is at the hub. Well, I still didn't find the John Mod table at the hub. Oh, maybe we can unlock it once we assemble the bridge. Okay, let's get ready for that bridge then. We need 40 screws. Let's get ready, buckaroos. I only have six screws here. Yikes. Um, resources. No, it's here. Consumables. Let's get some screws. I'll get all of them, whatever. Let's get now... Light frames. Let's get 20 light parts. Let's get a little bit of duct tape that I have at the base. Fix the bridge for the blueprints. Yes, let's get 20 iron wires because we do have a decent amount of dead garbage. And let's get 10 uh, iron somethings, whatever they're called. I don't even know. There we go, iron sheets. Let's get 10 of those. I think that's enough loot, right? That's enough loot. For the forklift, we still need more items. For that forklift, we need uh, uh, aluminum wirings, but... I don't have a lot of them, so I'll start working on those aluminum wirings now. And by the time it resets, we'll be able to unlock that forklift, I guess. Do we need a drone now to get back there again, or the door is gonna stay open? No, open forklift. I can't open the forklift, because I've already opened the crate. Do I need to grab this drone with me? Well, I'll charge it once, just in case. Look at this charging station up there. <laughs> it's funny. They take guns. I have two of them. I don't think we need more, though. Do we need more than that? We need Genesis weapons when assembling bridge. Bruh, thanks for the information. Then I'll go back to the base and I'll get them. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll get a shotgun just in case and another AK. Maybe that's too many things, but whatever. I'll get them. Feed the doggo, it's fine. We don't need doggos anymore. I have a drone. I'd rather take care of the drone than doggo. Uh, we cannot auto clear this location. Disappointed. He's going to regret it. I'll regret what? I don't understand. What am I going to regret? I don't get it. If you're saying something, then say it fully. You got 20 drone batteries in your inbox. You can charge with it. It's fine. I'll keep those drone batteries there. I don't want to touch them. Just because they are there doesn't mean I need to spam them right now. Wait. Is that it? Is it reset again? Oh no, it's open. It's all good. It's all good. That's it. Okay, great. Let's hop back inside then. Armored zombies are there. Well, it's fine. I have the neutralizers. We got the neutralizers, mate. Let's try to assemble this bridge now. We... No! We need more light frames. I think we have them here. Please tell me we do. Uh, I think they're in the spare parts. There we go. We have more light frames. There we go. We did it. We have the bridge now assembled. Look at this. It just appeared. How bloody lovely. In it, mate. Right, let's deal with that toxic darter. Okay, those three toxic darters were pretty scary. As they do 40 damage per pop. That's not cool. How do I drop down? I've just assembled that thing and that's it. Oh, there we go. There's the thing. We can drop lower here. Okay. A fiberglass, some rubber parts. Oh, righty. Where do I go next? 
Oh, here. Okay, there's an acid melter. We can jump across that gap. That's facts. We could have definitely done that. Oh, wow. There's an explosive zombie. What? Okay, that's kind of stupid. Mate, that is kind of stupid. Okay, there, my armor is gonna go down. Wait, I wanna go lower. Okay, they're here. Okay, they will shred my armor. Absolutely, stop it! I'm gonna die here right now, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I don't think I can do anything here. My arm, they'll kill me here. I'm gonna just exit the thing. I'll just exit the game. Like, that's stupid. I got stuck. There we go. Something happened. The game crashed. I don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. I don't get it. And yeah, also, they've changed the loading screen. So I wanted to show you guys the loading screen here right now. That's the reason why the game probably crashed. It wanted me to show the loading screen. So... Uh, yeah, that's the loading screen. What do you think about it? I've seen some people not liking it. I think it's kind of cool that they changed it, except I really thought that they'll change the other loading screen that we see all the time. I didn't think that they'll change this loading screen, which I don't mind it. It's whatever. It's loading screen like loading screen. You're so educational. Thank you. We could have dealt with those things there. But yeah, okay, my armor is about to break. We need another armor then. Yikes. Uh. Uh. Okay. I don't know where we'll spawn there, but I wanna hop back inside. It took way too long to kill the first, but I don't know if they'll explode. If they don't explode, I need to run away from them. And I don't know how far I can run from them. I don't know the radius, the explosion radius. Oh, I can just open this door. No, I cannot. Look at those schmucks coming after me. You can kill them before they explode. Okay, so these are the ones that we can kill them. Okay. Or they survived the blast. Some say they survived the blast. Some people say they don't survive the blast. I don't get it. Go up the ladder to avoid the explosion. Well, I got stuck there. <laughs> As you saw, I got stuck. I couldn't even go up the ladder. I want to see if there's anything in the corner. Maybe there's something secret. Nope. Just a bunch of bricks. Oh, wait. I can just go up? And do they explode? Or when I go up and down, does anything happen? Okay, it's fine. We can get with, we can deal with them like that. It's fine. It's not that crazy. Okay, so they're pretty simple. I thought that they don't explode like exploder zombies in Bunker Bravo or the laboratory. I thought that those are exploders like that. But these are basic exploders. If I'd known, I would have popped them. Well, in any case, now we know. Okay, what else? Didn't we get there? Almost stepped on that thing. I'm not stupid. I'm not stepping on that thing yet. A new recipe available. Bloody lovely. We have unlocked now that drone probably upgrade station or whatnot. There go this one. But for that, we need to get eight of these iron rods. And uh, maybe we can only get... We can get them, obviously, on that broaching machine. But it also says we can get them on the transport hub thing. So maybe we can open the fourth crate or the second crate and get those iron rods. There we go. Let's turn off the electricity. Oh, we've gotten another blueprint uh, of drone module. What do we get here? Agronomic motors. Uh, common blueprint for the drone modification. Read and add recipe to the drone upgrade workbench. Okay. Alrighty, we've also gotten some of these blades here. Drone parts. Alright. I'll get that stuff. Don't mind if I do. I'll get these USB. Maybe we need those USBs now for the drone. Crate 2 has iron rods. Then I should have opened up the crate too. Why you guys told me to open up the third crate? It's so silly. Silly willy. It is what it is. Now I know. Just soaked up that acid damage twice. <laughs> Why 
What kind of motors? Hey, Matthew Spellman! Stop it. Stop making fun of me. I said ergonomic motors. That's what I said. Stop it. I said ergonomic motors. <laughs> uh, let's open that up. Blueprint exchange! Another scammer? Exchange access drone module blueprints for random ones. Okay. That's it. Oh, there's one more. It says that there's a crate in the very corner, but I can't open it up. Where's that crate? Oh, it's on the top. There's a briefcase. There's a briefcase. <laughs> there's a briefcase. I need that briefcase. Give me the briefcase. There we go. It doesn't show up here. It only shows up from the bottom, but it doesn't show up here. That's kind of weird. So inside of the briefcase, we've gotten a weapon mod blueprint that I don't need. We've gotten a biker magazine mod, which, all right. If you say so, I will bring this thing back to the base. Understandable. Okay. So we have opened that stuff up. Now we need to assemble the forklift. So we needed to open up the second one to get those iron rods. Well, we'll get them another day. Um, um, um. All right, so that was pretty interesting. Again, we could just hop over this thing, but that's fine. We could just literally uh, sneak under this forklift, but whatever. Uh, what do we think about the the thing? It's nice to see you still playing this game. I stopped three years ago. Cass, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. I mean, it is what it is. Everyone's different. So if uh, you didn't like the game, it's all normal. It's all fine, mate. I'm still glad to see you here, though. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, thanks, Cass, for the support. And I kind of forgot what we were talking about. So yeah, I wanted to say what I think about this transport hub. It's a place like place. It's not bad. I guess it's interesting. The miner is under the question mark. If they don't fix it and we can still kill the miner just by using that wall trick, then... It's okay, it's not that hard. It's easy boss, easy easy location. If they don't fix it, it's an 8 out of 10 location, right? Like, seriously, it's, it's great. It might be... It's a more advanced location, as you probably need to have, like, that drone to enter this location. But I'd even say maybe this place has better loot than the police department. So this place gets, like, at least an 8 out of 10. But if they patch the boss and you have to fight the boss, like, running around, then, I don't know, maybe, like, a 6, a 7... So there's that. Those are just random numbers that don't mean anything. Not scientific numbers, just random. They won't fix it. Fixing it will technically mean removing the wall trick. I mean, they just change. They can just change the miner and that's it. They can just change this pathing and whatnot. And yeah, because they, it looks like they've spent lots of effort to make that miner very hard. Unless it's the same miner from the sector seven, and they didn't do anything on it. In any case, it is what it is. What do you mean end game? I don't really mean end game, end game. Like, you're not gonna go there as a beginner on level 50. Like, you need to have your drone. Wait, to assemble these drones? I forgot. What do we need? We need those uh, iron wires. You need to have 10 of those controllers. So, you'll have to clear this port location many times. So, yeah, you'll have to be. A pretty high level, a uh, pretty high level to unlock that location. So there's that. Level 150, not enough. I mean, can you unlock that place at level 150? I have no idea. I mean, if you can, you can. I'm just saying that you need to clear that port location like many times, uh, aka laboratory. That location doesn't sound that rewarding anymore. But as I said, it's like an... It's a location for higher level players. Like, if you've been playing this game for a month, obviously you're not going to go to that port location, to that thing, whatever it's called, the transport hub. But if you've been playing this game for a few months, maybe you can unlock it. 
At least now fighting those bosses is kind of more interesting. Like, you shouldn't maybe clear the second and the fourth floor there. I think the cheapest way to get all of those drone modules, uh, all of those controller modules for your uh, drone docking station is by just clearing the first and the second floor of the laboratory, as those are the easiest floor. The third and the fourth floor are kind of harder, so maybe you don't have to clear those things. You just clear the first and the second floor all the time, and then you'll get 10 of those uh, drone modules doing it 10 times. Because I think you'll lose more guns on the third and on the fourth floor. So you just clear the laboratory 10 times, the first and the second floor, and that's it. And you'll kind of get it, I guess. Also, what's up with this drone? Can I put it in the chest? Okay, so it doesn't allow me to put it here. Okay, whatever, I'll keep charging the drone then. So far, I don't have an opinion about the drone because I used it, but... Maybe we can go outside in the green forest and we can try to use the drone there. Maybe. Maybe. So what is your opinion, guys, about all of this new update? What do you think? Good, bad, goop, amazing. Because as so far, I like it. It's, it's pretty decent-ish, I guess, but I haven't played that long here with this drone and that thing. Whatever it's called. The transport hub. So I don't know. But so far from what I can see, it's okay. Totally far from the worst thing that, have, that we've gotten in the game. It's decent. I like it. At least something new to do, exactly. Absolutely. Try the drone in the laboratory, it maybe performs well. Maybe. I'm gonna go out to the green forest. I wanna see how that drone performs there because against the miner, it's... It's 50-50. The mod table changes the best part of it, exactly. <laughs> see, see, the best thing about this entire update is that we can uh, upgrade the guns just with one click. And I'm not even kidding, that's actually... Very, very appreciated. Let's get that drone. Um, let's get these guns and let's go outside to the green zone. And let's see how this drone works against those other zombies. The drone also takes up another slot here, so I don't know if it's worth it. A lot of you said that the drone is like 8 out of 10. Or at least 6 out of 10. So far it's pretty lame. As I said, unless the green zone is going to change some things. You have four uses and then you have to wait 12 hours until it recharges, like... You have four uses and then 12 hours to wait, like, kind of crazy. Actually, new players can't do it because they'll need the ATV. You don't need the ATV to assemble the drone. I still haven't gone there to assemble that thing, so you don't need the ATV to assemble that drone. I don't really know why people keep talking about it. You don't need the ATV to get the drone. To upgrade all the mods, to get all the mods probably for it, maybe. But to uh, just unlock that port hub, you don't really need it. Okay, there we go. Let's gather some of these schmucks. I'm gonna get the drone. Okay, it does 18 damage. Come here. What about this thing? Okay, what did I click just there? Where did that drone go? Come here. Could stay in one spot. That's it, it ran out of battery. Drone is our heli, yes indeed. Yeah, I don't know, it's doing 18 damage, maybe once we get more... More and more upgrades, it'll be better. But that's it. Like, that's the whole point. Like, it loses the things. I just want to use that battery. Not because I want to, but because... Education. All right. Where are those batteries? There we go. Drone replacement batteries. Oh, no. Didn't mean to get 20 of them. If I use one... 
Oh, it only restores one! Whoa! Whoa! That's silly willy. Okay, let's use that drone again. There we go. Start shooting them. So it doesn't even shoot when I run around. Okay, keep shooting it. Keep shooting them. Can it deal with those three zombies? For one shot. Get them! Okay. So we dealt with three zombies at least. Can we get another one? Okay, so the battery is low, it says. Okay, there's another zombie. Is that enough? So it dealt with four zombies, right? That's it. I can't use the drone again. We need to wait three hours to use it again. So we dealt with four zombies. That's 160 health. 160 damage. I mean, obviously some of those, uh, he could have done more damage because then zombies have only like four health or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe with better mods, it's more useful, but... As of right now, it's... Not worth it. Four zombies that have 40 health. <laughs> 160 damage, right? Okay, let's be more generous. Let's say it does 200 damage with one charge here, and we have four charges, so it can do 800 damage. Doggo can do around that damage, just like a crowbar of damage. That's it. Then you have to wait 12 hours. 800 damage per 12 hours, and it's pretty slow, and it's probably not going to be that efficient. It's not going to output 800 damage, as I said. So actually, your true friend dog is kind of better than the drone, unless you get better mods for the drone. So, yeah. What do I think about it? I don't know. If it's just a drone, maybe we'll be able to upgrade it later. But yeah, as of right now, plus it takes the extra slot here in your backpack. Crazy, the dog treats are better than the drone battery. It shows how skimpy Kefir is now, maybe. I don't know. But again, it's just a low-level drone. Maybe once we upgrade it, it's better because you can also use the drone to heal you. But that drone loses battery very quickly. It's just there for a few seconds. And then it disappears. If it... The drone just follows you even... The drone loses battery and loses charge even when it doesn't shoot. So you can start the drone and the drone will follow you. And if it doesn't shoot anything, uh, it will lose one charge anyways. And with the doggos, you can just come home and they reset and that's it, you can go with them. It's kind of silly that you can kind of have drone batteries, but yet you can't charge a battery at home. So that you always have a battery here. So that when you come back home, you at least can like swap batteries or something. I don't know. In any case, it's still a bit too early to tell. Maybe there are some nice drone mods, but even if we get like a healing mod, you know, you, what, you activate that healing mod and the drone will heal you for... Like 100, 200 health, like what, you'll save two first aid kits? Whoa? I don't know. Still, as I said, too early to say, still interesting that they've added that drone. I'm more interested about the port hub location and other things that we get to build. And drone is drone, maybe they'll make it better in the future. But yeah, it is what it is. So... What do we need for the upgrade bench? For the upgrade bench, we need eight of these iron rods. So we're not crafting that thing probably anytime soon. So yeah, guys, we still have lots of things to do. We have like, what, uh, 25 of these mercenary contracts to open up. Plus we have 200 and something mercenary tags. So we can open up a decent amount of these crates. We can progress a lot in the settlement, but we can't do everything in one day, right? So we're going to do next time. We're going to do all of that during the next live stream. We will... We will, we will... What is that thing? Yeah, we will go in the settlement and we will grind in the settlement. Right? Absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining here. See you tomorrow with another video. And after tomorrow, probably there will be another live stream where we start grinding in the settlement and there will be huge upgrades in the settlement because we will be able to upgrade the drone a lot right 
And not the drone, but the settlement, right? We'll upgrade a bunch of merc uh, mercenaries. We might upgrade our zombie truck a little bit. And uh, we will definitely progress further in that settlement. We might unlock some new resources. We might start getting more daily loot. And that's it. So, guys, take care and see you later. I see some of you saying GeoGuessr. Maybe next time today uh, we're not going to play any GeoGuessr. I'm actually going to play GeoGuessr off camera with my brother, maybe. We'll see. So, <laughs> I'm saving that GeoGuessr for later. So, take care, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. Peace out, alligators. And uh, have an amazing... Uh, whatever is it today? Saturday, right? Have an amazing Saturday. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. Take care. Take care, take care.